for sales fake news holiday special fourth of july all right i'm riley foster and i'm sean fuller and our first story today we have two people a james mcdouble and sarah wang interesting characters interesting caught stealing fourth of july decorations because they quote didn't support celebrating pilgrims coming to the usa founders of the united states of america and apparently Riley has an interview earlier today with comments from both James and Sarah Wang. We are outside and boy is it hot. We're going to now move over and we're going to get some answers, hopefully, from the ones responsible for this massacre. I have here James McDouble and Sarah Wang. And uh, we're going to get some answers. Why did you do it? Well... You see, there, there's no reason. Like, come to from the wherever they heck the pilgrims came from, over to here in the United States. There's no reason for it. They could have just stayed there, and that could have been the new United States. Wang. I don't like that they wear wigs. And there you have it, folks. Back to the desk. Well, Riley, that was quite a precarious interview you had there. What did you think about it? Yes, yeah, Sean. I mean, it was. Uh... Very strange, very woke, very, very out there with their answers, but I guess they have their reasons, but the important thing is they were brought to justice. That is right, and that is the America we live in today, that is and the America she we was live hating in on today. the wigs of the people that wear them. Yeah, Sean, Pilgrims, 4th of July. How it all adds up, I'll never know. Breaking down the fundamental pillars of our society. America as we know it, coming to a crash with Sarah Wang and James McDouble. And now, to the weather, we go with Sean. It's pretty toasty out there, as you can feel today. Out there on Saturday, it's going to be about 87 degrees and warm. Then we're going to hit 115 on Sunday, hotter than the Idahoan heat wave of 1898. And there's a good chance of rain on all three days, and a 100% chance of rain today might be raining right now. And on the big day, it's going to be around 93 degrees with a 39.000000009% chance of rain. And now down to Cali with the weather live. Thanks, Sean. It's hailing and windy. Well, it sure looks like all hail has broken loose mm, out there. Boy, howdy. Now we have our next story of Grandmother's 4th of July celebration. Coming in hot. We have started the day. We got the food. Faz. We Family put the tradition. food in the Faz. Family tradition. And now we're going to have some cornhole. We're going to have some chicken. Some something else dessert wise. People are coming in from all who knows where. And now on to our next story of the day. We are live on the ground where a man who used fireworks to make a bomb to explode a Taco Bell <laughs> because they ran out of beef. What a tragedy. Taco Bells. Police can't find the man. Now, we have a guy on the ground out there now, but before we go there, we have a picture of the suspect that we would like to put out to our viewers to see if you can help identify with any information. So we got this picture coming to us now. And uh, it looks like a man here with uh, some, some hair. And He's uh, got dilated pupils. Okay, and he's got a little bit, he looks in maybe the middle 40s to 50s. He's got Gilligan's hat from Gilligan's Island on, wrinkles and hair coming through the hat. And a cone-shaped chin. Cone-shaped chin, square ears. That is the man we are looking for, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any information with that, We're call. offering up to $10 reward for any information we can find on the man. Very handsome. And a $10 gift card to Taco Bell. And the only thing that's floating at Taco Bell is not just this bomb, mm -hmm. if you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. So now we go live to Brett. Well, thank you boys in the studio, but uh, as you can see, there is a Taco Bell on fire. A very violent act by a man using fireworks to make a bomb. We still haven't found the suspect. If we have any news, we'll go back to you. Man wreaking havoc on Taco Bell instead of Taco Bell on man. Tragedy struck. And Are you hearing this, Sean? I'm getting this something. We just got news that they have found the suspect. It's apparently the turkey thief at it again. At it again. It's the same man. Our judicial system is broken, apparently, people. Right. Brett? Where are, Brett? are you there? We still are you alive? Brett, say something. Blink twice. 
We found the subject. He threw a taco at me, but earlier he went through the drive-thru and ordered hundreds of tacos, but he came back because they didn't have any beef. So now, so he blew the place up. Ah! How oh, I'm dead. Brett, Brett. Ah, are you okay? Brett. 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 He'll be okay. Alright, and that's all we have for you today. I'm Riley. And I'm Sean. Thanks for watching. And this was Versailles Fake News. Did we feel this stupid last time we were here? Yes, you okay. did. We were this stupid. Y'all good to go whenever. I don't even know how to start. Sarah <coughs> Wang. Wang. Remember? Hey, Let's do it. It's just a disgrace. And Fourth of July pilgrims just. What <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> is love? Oh. Baby, Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Don't don't hurt me. <laughs> no more. <laughs> what is love? <laughs> Baby, don't hurt me. <laughs> Shark on set. Sure looks like all hail has broken loose outside. Broken <laughs> <laughs> loose out. Oh my! Sit here. All right, guys. If we ever get famous, just hold on. Know the hand over the <laughs> no, I'll come on. Okay. Directions. Rush up. Ah! Help. <laughs>